I have been member of Salehu for over 4 years now. I've been an eBay power seller, a reseller on Amazon and also develop e-commerce sites. I love the thrill of finding great deals and then being able to resell those products for a nice profit. Hi! It's Kendra here again. I am back to review the popular product called, Salehu, you'll find all my thoughts outlined in the video. In this video you're going to find a little bit of information about what you can expect from the product, some of the pros and cons, as well as my overall thoughts on it. Here's our test. Enjoy! I could spend a ton of time talking about the merits of eBay versus Amazon and the pros and cons of those two sites along. But instead, I really want to keep this focused on sale who and the pros and cons of their membership site. I remember when I first started selling on eBay, I was really just finding random things around the house. For me personally, there was something very exciting about being able to sell something online in an auction style format and to see what it could sell for. And then being fanatical about customer service, I loved trying to do everything I could to give my buyers an incredible experience. I remember thinking how cool it would be to be a power seller on eBay and in my mind, this title was like having celebrity status. Then as time went on, Amazon became a bigger and bigger player to the point where they are also a popular place now to try and resell merchandise. To start, I'd like to share briefly what led me to join. I was getting to a point with reselling where I was becoming frustrated with not being able to find products that I could consistently buy and sell for a profit. I might find some things around the home, or a good one-time deal here and there, but it was this constant hunt. For instance, I would go into stores like Ross and see what items were on clearance. I remember one time they had a leather belt on clearance for $5. I was able to turn around and sell them for $20. Woohoo! I loved that. But it was a constant hunt, searching for deals and keeping my eyes open for something I could buy and then turn around and sell for a decent profit on eBay. I was getting tired of never having a consistent source of merchandise that I knew I could resell for a profit. That's when I started researching online for a solution. One of the first things I tried was get. If you're not familiar with them, they are a wholesale directory of Chinese suppliers. I'll try to post it but review soon as well, but for now, let me just say that it was difficult because most of the branded type items they sell are fakes, or imitations as they like to call them. This can get you into a very dangerous situation. At first glance, I got very excited because you're able to get items like P90X for $20 a piece and then resell them for $6100 on eBay. Cha-ching! But! They're fakes. So if you get caught during customs, hot water, comma or if someone complains on eBay, more hot water, comma you're basically in the same situation as someone selling drugs. You're doing something that's illegal and you make great money until you get caught. Then you'll wish you had never done that. I know people have gone down that road and made some good money, but it's a gamble. How far down that road do you go before you get caught? My advice is to take the honest way to making a buck. And for me, that's where sale who came in. I started researching different wholesale directories and they seemed like a good choice. I really liked that they had a 60 day money back guarantee which gave me a lot of peace of mind. I read a lot of the testimonies and reviews and eventually decided to give them a try. And just to give you a little background about Sale Who, it's a company that Mark Ling started. When I first joined, I really didn't know much about him or what he is all about. Sign then I can say that he is one of the more upstanding, honest marketers that I have come across. There are a lot of snakes out there in the internet marketing world but Mark Quink is one of the few that I feel truly tries to create value for people in an honest and ethical manner. But not knowing all this when I joined, I decided to go ahead and take the plunge. I signed up and was excited to see what kind of prosperous future as a reseller awaited me. My goal in signing up was to find a company, or several if possible, that I could purchase products from on a regular and consistent basis that I could make a decent profit from. 
Shortly after signing up I also started writing reviews of the different companies within the membership directory. I have now contacted over 900 companies and even rated each of them on a scale of 1-5. After talking to that many companies I've definitely gotten a better sense of different ways to approach trying to become a reseller. So I'd like to not only touch on the pros and cons, but also being a reseller in general and try to provide some helpful tips. There is a lot of great things to be said about becoming a member. For anyone who's truly interested in reselling, I think the membership easily pays for itself. But it definitely takes some work on your part to be able to get some value out of it. I have been really impressed with how attentive the staff are. You can ask questions in the forum or send private messages, and in either situation you get a thoughtful answer. I have always gotten the sense that they genuinely care about me having a good experience and will do whatever they can to help. As an example, I was interested in reselling costumes so when I asked them for some ideas then compiled a list of companies to try. Of course, I could have done the research myself but I thought it was nice that they were able to save me time and put that together for me. I've been on a number of internet marketing forums and I find they are hit or miss. I feel like some leave you more confused because there is so much cross information that seems to contradict itself. However, I have found the forum useful. I've learned some helpful things reading about what others have posted and discussed. For example, dealing with imitation products can be a hot topic if you start purchasing products overseas, particularly from China. I found the forums were particularly helpful in learning how to avoid getting yourself in trouble with that. But just like any forum, the downside is that you can spend a bunch of time sifting through stuff trying to find answers and then come up empty. They have a ton of companies in their directory. I think just about anything you could think of reselling, there is probably at least one company listed, but most likely there will be several to choose from. There is a lot of great information you can get at a glance to help you decide whether you might want to contact this company or not. This is where you can get information such as minimum order quantities, if a company has them, whether they ship internationally and how long they've been in business. This is one of my favorite parts. I love reading about other people's experiences but what I find particularly useful are the power seller reviews. I have written several of these myself and basically you're getting to read what an eBay power seller thinks about a particular company. I find these reviews to be a huge time saver because rather than having to call a company yourself to learn all about them you can read what the power seller found out. For instance, a lot of companies don't post their wholesale pricing. And it can be very time consuming to have to call company after company to get an idea of what kind of discount they offer, or whether you can resell their products on eBay or what their minimum purchase requirements are. The power seller reviews allow you to get a preview of all that so you can decide if the company will probably be worth your time or not. Again, this is one of my favorite parts of the membership and I think of the features that adds a ton of value. There are some research tools but I'll be honest, they aren't something I've personally found particularly useful. I could see how they could be of value to some people, but again, to me I could take more leave them. Everyone now and then a special article will be written by a power seller, staff member or someone else who knows what they're talking about. It might be something such as utilizing images more effectively in auction listings or an under the radar item that would be good for reselling. I read one article once by a power seller that was really helpful because she shared her approach to finding items to resell on eBay. I learned about a cool research tool that I had never even heard of. However, they've revamped their wholesale directory and have included a lot of additional training. Honestly, they could charge extra for all this training and it would be worth it. But the fact that they include this as part of the membership how is just awesome. This isn't so much a negative against joining, but I've seen new members frustrated because they will click on a company or two and if that company doesn't offer incredible prices on their products the member will feel like they've been scammed. There are many companies listed in their directory that are what I would consider to be retail discount companies. 
so you might save 10 to 20% off retail but that still can be a tough margin to resell products with, especially if you're trying to resell merchandise on sites like eBay or Amazon. Some folks think that's misleading to have these companies kept in the directory. Let me give you an example of why I think it's helpful to actually have these companies listed in there. Let's say you come across a company on the internet that claims to be a wholesaler for dog toys. You then decide to see if the company is listed in their directory. The company is listed in there and you notice there are two reviews written about this company, one by a regular member and one by an eBay power seller. After reading the reviews you quickly realize that this company doesn't really offer true wholesale pricing so you decide to move on. So you can see what a time saver it is to get great information about a company, good or bad, rather than have to take the time yourself to contact the company, maybe even waiting for a response, and find all that out for yourself. I can assure you that after contacting hundreds of companies myself, this is a real time saver. However, initially some might find this to be a negative if they don't understand that, or worse, would feel it's some sort of sale who scam. I think it would be great if they offered more advances search capabilities. For instance, let's say you wanted to search for companies that offered drop shipping and processed orders within 1-2 business days. Currently, you would have to read the individual power seller reviews, if one is written for that company, or contact the company to find out. I actually don't know of any membership directory that does this but it would be really cool and be such a time saver if they were to do something like that. Also, let's say you want to find all the Canadian companies in the directory. Ideally it would be great to have a drop down option to filters all those companies out. What you can do is type Canadian in the search field and that does basically do the same thing though. After being a member for over two years now I can say the membership is well worth the investment. Having so many wholesale companies all together in one place is such a time saver. Granted you could probably discover a lot of these on the internet just searching around. But I have discovered many gems that I couldn't imagine I would have been able to find on my own. If you're someone who's already having some success reselling and you're looking for additional products, I think the membership is a no-brainer. Especially with their 100% money-back guarantee. You can take your time to check it out, and if you don't feel like you're getting any value out of it they are great about providing a completely no-hassle money-back guarantee. If you're newer to reselling and looking at this as a way to get started, this could be a great tool. But keep in mind it will take some work. You might have to go through 100 companies before you find a few that will be worth your while. You could look at it like you're mining for gold and sale who is showing you where to mine, but they won't be doing the mining for you. And that's what leads me to my overall score of 4 out of 5 stars. I think they do everything they say they'll do and even a little more. They provide excellent service and are one of the more professional and caring companies I have worked with. However, there are a few things they could do to go above and beyond to get a 5-star rating such as providing a little more tutorial type support in regards to showing you a system for evaluating companies and products to resell on places like eBay or Amazon. Also, adding additional search features would be an additional time saver. Well, only you can make it happen. If you're ready to try the program, you can get started by simply clicking on the link in the description below, articletrafficklink.com slash salehu wholesale sources, to learn all of the details about the program. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for checking out my review. Wishing you the best, see you next time.